The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWS, is the most powerful telescope ever built. It represents a monumental leap in our ability to observe the cosmos. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, it orbits the Sun, about a million miles from Earth. This distance allows it to have an unobstructed view of the universe, free from the interference of Earth's atmosphere. JWST is like a giant, super-sensitive eye in space. Its large golden mirrors are designed to capture faint light from the farthest reaches of the universe. It allows us to see farther and clearer into the universe than ever before. The images it captures are not only breathtaking but also filled with invaluable scientific data. This incredible telescope is helping us unlock the secrets of the cosmos. Scientists around the world are eagerly analyzing the data it sends back, hoping to make groundbreaking discoveries. One of JWST's main missions is to find new planets. These planets, known as exoplanets, orbit stars outside our solar system. These planets orbit distant stars, many light years away from us. Each discovery adds a new piece to the puzzle of our universe. The discovery of these exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It has opened up new possibilities for finding life beyond Earth. We now know that planets are incredibly common. They come in all sizes and compositions, some even resembling Earth. In fact, there are likely more planets than stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone. This realization has profound implications for our search for extraterrestrial life. The sheer number of planets out there begs the question, could some of them harbor life? Scientists are particularly interested in planets located in the habitable zones of their stars, where conditions might be right for life as we know it. This is one of the most profound questions humans have ever asked. The search for life beyond Earth is not just about finding new places to live, it's about understanding our place in the universe. JWST, with its advanced capabilities, is bringing us closer to answering it. Its discoveries will shape our understanding of the cosmos for generations to come. Finding life elsewhere in the universe would be a momentous discovery. It would be one of the greatest achievements in human history, fundamentally altering our understanding of life itself. It would change our understanding of our place in the cosmos. We would have to rethink our position in the universe and our relationship with other potential life forms. We would no longer be alone. The discovery of extraterrestrial life would mean that life is not unique to Earth and that the universe is teeming with possibilities. It would also raise profound philosophical and ethical questions. How would we communicate with these new life forms? What responsibilities would we have towards them? Scientists are particularly interested in finding planets that are similar to Earth. These Earth-like planets are the best candidates for hosting life as we know it. These planets would need to be rocky with a solid surface that can support life. Have liquid water on their surface, which is essential for all known forms of life, and orbit within their star's habitable zone. This zone is the perfect distance from the star where temperatures are neither too hot nor too cold. The habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. It's not too hot and not too cold, but just right. JWST is equipped with instruments that can study the atmospheres of exoplanets. This advanced technology allows us to peer into the atmospheres of distant worlds. By analyzing the light that passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere, scientists can identify the chemicals present. This process is known as spectroscopy. Certain chemicals, called biosignatures, could indicate the presence of life. These biosignatures are the telltale signs that life might exist on these distant planets. JWST uses several methods to detect exoplanets. One method is called the transit method. When a planet passes in front of its star, from our perspective, it causes a slight dip in the star's brightness. JWST can detect these tiny dips. Another method is called the radial velocity method. Planets exert a gravitational pull on their stars, causing the stars to wobble slightly. This wobble creates a Doppler shift in the star's light which JWST can measure. These methods allow scientists to determine the size, mass and orbital period of exoplanets. This information is crucial for understanding the planet's potential habitability. 
Imagine a planet orbiting a star like a perfectly synchronized cosmic clock. Now, imagine another planet in the same system, tugging ever so slightly on the first planet with its gravity. This tugging, while subtle, can cause tiny variations in the timing of the first planet's transits. These variations are known as transit timing variations, or TTVs. JWST is sensitive enough to detect these minute TTVs. By analyzing these variations, astronomers can infer the presence of unseen planets in the system. This method is particularly useful for finding planets that are too small or too far from their star to be detected directly. Direct Imaging – A Challenging Feat While challenging, directly imaging an exoplanet is like capturing a firefly's faint glow next to a blazing spotlight. The starlight often overwhelms the faint light reflected by the planet. To overcome this challenge, JWST uses a special instrument called a coronagraph. This instrument blocks out the blinding light from the star, allowing the faint light from the planet to be seen. Direct imaging provides valuable information about the planet's brightness, temperature, and even the composition of its atmosphere. The Goldilocks Zone – Not too hot, not too cold. The Goldilocks Zone, also known as the Habitable Zone, is the region around a star where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. This delicate balance is crucial because liquid water is essential for life as we know it. If a planet is too close to its star, it will be too hot and any water would boil away, turning the planet into a scorched, barren wasteland. If it's too far, it will be too cold and any water would freeze, creating a frozen, inhospitable environment. The location of the habitable zone depends on the size and temperature of the star. Different stars have different habitable zones, which can vary greatly. Smaller, cooler stars have habitable zones that are closer in, meaning planets need to orbit nearer to the star to be in the right temperature range, while larger, hotter stars have habitable zones that are farther out requiring planets to be at a greater distance to maintain suitable conditions for liquid water. Finding a planet in the habitable zone is a good starting point in the search for life, but it's not enough. Other factors, such as the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and geological activity, also play critical roles in determining its habitability. The ingredients for life, more than just water, while water is essential for life as we know it, it's not the only ingredient. Life also needs a source of energy, a stable environment, and the right chemical building blocks. These building blocks include carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. These elements are found throughout the universe. JWST can help us determine if exoplanets have the right conditions and ingredients for life. It can analyze the atmospheres of planets and look for the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and other molecules that could indicate a life-supporting environment. Atmospheric biosignatures tell tale signs of life. Biosignatures are chemicals or phenomena that provide evidence of past or present life. In the context of exoplanets, atmospheric biosignatures are of particular interest. These are gases in a planet's atmosphere that are produced by life or geological processes that are influenced by life. One well-known biosignature is oxygen. On Earth, oxygen is primarily produced by photosynthesis, the process by which plants and other organisms convert sunlight into energy. While oxygen can be produced by non-biological processes, the presence of large amounts of oxygen in an exoplanet's atmosphere, along with other gases like methane, could be a strong indicator of life. The challenges of detecting life from afar. Detecting life on exoplanets is incredibly challenging. These planets are incredibly far away and their faint light is often drowned out by the glare of their host stars. Additionally, the presence of a biosignature doesn't necessarily guarantee the presence of life. Some biosignatures can also be produced by non-biological processes. To confidently identify life on other planets, we need to rule out all other possibilities. This requires careful observation, data analysis, and the development of new and innovative technologies. Despite the challenges, the search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most exciting and important endeavors in science.
the Fermi Paradox, where is everybody? Given the vastness of the universe and the incredibly long timescales involved, it seems statistically likely that other intelligent civilizations should have arisen somewhere in the cosmos. So, why haven't we encountered any yet? This is the essence of the Fermi Paradox, named after physicist Enrico Fermi. There are many possible solutions to the Fermi Paradox. Perhaps intelligent life is incredibly rare, and we are one of the first civilizations to emerge in the Milky Way galaxy. Or, perhaps advanced civilizations tend to destroy themselves before they can reach out to the stars. Another possibility is that alien civilizations are out there, but they are deliberately choosing not to contact us. The Implications of Finding Alien Life The discovery of extraterrestrial life, even microbial life, would have profound implications for humanity. It would confirm that we are not alone in the universe and would fundamentally alter our understanding of our place in the cosmos. It would also raise profound philosophical and ethical questions. How would the discovery of alien life impact our society, our religions and our views on our own existence? These are questions that we need to start grappling with now as the search for extraterrestrial life intensifies. Webb, a giant leap in the search for life beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is a game changer in the search for life beyond Earth. Its powerful instruments allow us to study exoplanets in unprecedented detail, searching for signs of habitability and even life itself. While we haven't found definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life yet, JW West is bringing us closer than ever before. The discoveries made by JWST are expanding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we may one day find the answer to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone?